All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Everyone Loves Pirates, and we're playing Banished in our town of Piraten. Could have just been Pirate Town, but uh, I don't know, it's hard for me to say. Piraten's easy. Let's run together. Southern, southern drawl slurring works out great. So, let's get our guys moving. I'm going to bump it down to just two speed for right now, just so I can show you how things are going. Obviously, this is right where we left off from last time. So, we have a boarding house with uh, some food in it. We have a good store of uh, firewood left. We've got 100 firewood. That's what that's the icon that it shows when he gets to his maximum amount. He's not going to make any more uh, because he is at the maximum amount. And yeah, we're building a storage barn, which is almost complete. Once we do that, I'm going to get rid of this and it'll not be in the way anymore. We have a couple uh, people gathering herbs and stuff. Winter has just ended. It's early spring, and it's beautiful. And we have a Forester's Lodge um, that I'll probably get started next, because we're going to need a, a solid supply of wood. But I do want to get this done with first. And yeah, we got our fishermen, actually two of them, catching fish. So what I want to do is I want to get a, a healthy amount of stored food before we get too crazy with growing. Because the, the problems I've had in like just a couple of times of playing this game, uh, both of which ended up disastrous very quickly, is you don't want to expand too quickly uh, if you don't have enough food to deal with it. And you never want to uh, get rid of your storage barn <laughs> uh, thinking that people will just put stuff in the market. They won't. They'll leave it on the ground. Great, our storage barn is done. And with that in mind, let's... Uh, remove this. They should take everything there into the storage barn. And I'm going to... I need to learn all my shortcuts. I'm going to increase, increase priority on getting that uh, taken apart. Let's bump it up to 5. Now what do we want to build next? That's a trading post. We won't have anything to trade for a while. We can get some more fishermen going. But what the problem is we're not going to have any more people until we have uh, houses for them to go into. The kids will grow up, which will be fine, but no one will have babies, I think, until we get the houses settled. They're not going to be making babies in the boarding house. Not intimate enough. So, okay, we have we have enough materials to make this forester lodge. I think that's a good idea, because we're going to need the wood. It's going to take a while for this to get going, anyway, so we'll start that building. And then uh, we'll start thinking about houses. Now, we don't have to make houses for everybody. We'll actually want to prioritize houses that are far away, you know, for people whose work is far away from the boarding house. So actually, you know, this fisherman house has already got started. It isn't really that far away. It's almost, actually, it's probably about similar distance. This is a little further away, though. And we'll have a couple families out here. So we will want to... I keep on forgetting to put a stockpile out there. Let's do it now. Um, because they're also going to cut wood and they need a good place to put the wood as well. So let's do... Small. Huh? It has to be at least too wide. Let's just do. Be nice if I could just have a long one there right next to it. But apparently not. Well, I'm gonna do a six by two. Why not? It's stuff that can't be. I mean, once I put it like a two by two here, I'm not never gonna build anything right there. It will cut down all those trees and stuff. That's why you don't want to make it too big. Come on, guys! Why aren't you? doing this. Come on. That's okay. The only stuff that's on here, I don't really know what's on there, but it's not that important. There may be things that they can't store in the storage barn on here. And if that's the case, I don't know where they're going to store it. Who knows? Not that big a deal. 
The only problem is none of those tools are available now. Come on, people. How many times can we prioritize? Okay, so they should be building over here. Yep, all the materials are there. Now we just need to start building. Builders need to build over there. Uh, now that it is warm again outside. Wow, 75 degrees already. It's spring. Okay, wow, time's flying. Let's uh, let's get some of these resources gathered. Because what's going to happen is the forester is going to gather these resources so that he can plant more trees. I'd rather just have our laborers do it, to be honest. They're really Oh, good, it's gone. Yay! I was going to say, they're not really doing a whole lot else. So... Let's gather the stone. And... Maybe we can start with the houses. Looks like a house. Four wide, huh? Oh, I didn't quite line that up right, did I? Nice thing is you can hit the F key and change the way the houses look. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's just completely, uh, oh, what do you call it? Just the way they look. It doesn't have anything to do with their function. Some look kind of small and others look a lot larger. Like that one. That one's kind of cool. Let's, see, let's do that. I want to leave some spaces in between them so these guys can all go where they want to go. Without having to walk around houses forever. That. That's probably a good start. Okay, so this is built. We need to get a forester. Reserve tools is low. Yeah. We're getting to the point where we definitely need to build the houses because we need more people to labor. We don't really want to run out of tools. Uh, we don't really want to run out of jackets either. This is tough on a hard start. These houses are going to take oh, they're going to take food away. We don't have any like extra food. Hmm. We do have more laborers now. Let's. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So, hunting would be good. Because that will let us get more hides, which will let us get... Um, which will allow us to make coats and stuff. It's going to be tough with just four families. Well, we have the gatherer up now. Or, we've had it up, but... I think it'll help getting them nearby. It's just we're going to run out of food. Okay, let's, we'll allow this house to finish and see what happens. And we'll build this hunting cabin. Okay. So this... We 
we've already got the forester moved in. I was actually kind of hoping it'd be a couple of gatherers instead. I wonder if I turn off the forester, what will happen? Builder and a laborer. I want you to be gatherers! They grab the leftover food. And they'll probably get some more, too. And they're probably going to take a bunch of firewood as well. We got six laborers. Okay, let's let's get more people fishing. More people gathering. I'm really worried about food. Or the more food we have, the more quickly we can get the houses built. Woodcutter's acting as a laborer when he's not cutting wood. You guys moved yet? There's a gatherer now in here. He's still a builder. Which makes sense because he's building something over here. Now, we, I could build roads to try to get them to go faster, but I think most time they're just going to take the diagonal shortcut. Uh, we can always get rid of the roads later. Once our builder is done, maybe we do that to just have them. Dirt roads don't take up any resources. Go. Okay. Nope, wrong one. Okay, we'll have at least one hunter. Probably only one. And let's see. We're going to dirt road. So if we hold down shift, it'll do diagonal. That'll end up cutting down a bunch of trees too. That's that's a big. A lot of people are gonna walk that way. That'll make it quicker for them to walk. And we're getting quite a bit of stuff going this way too. But. Okay, so we got one tool left, which is not good at all. We're gonna have to build a blacksmith. Yeah. I really don't want to have to build one so early, but we started with very little stuff. In fact, I'm going to prioritize that as well. It's autumn. So we're getting a little bit more food, which is good. We have plenty of firewood. Yeah, our people are happy. They're relatively healthy. Can't ask for too much more. The only issue is our number of jackets for when it starts getting cold and the tools is a big deal. People do not work very well when they don't have tools. Uh, what are we low on? Uh, stone? We actually should have enough. By very close. Oh, this takes iron too. How much iron do we have? One iron. Okay, so we're going to have to collect some iron. Um, okay. Not a lot of iron. Over here, is there? Is there a stone is low? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, apparently my math was wrong. That's more than enough stone. Let's not go crazy, because we need the iron, too. And here comes winter. Yeah, so we will run out of tools. I basically guarantee that. Hopefully we won't have a catastrophic loss of tools. So these guys are able to move much faster going out here now. Hunter gatherer, perfect. Uh, I'm going to leave that, you know, it's kind of a waste, but I 
definitely want to get the food situation up since I have had an entire town wiped out by lack of food. Okay, they're almost have enough rock stone. Now they should. And take it to the stockpile, and then someone else is going to take it to here. Just take it directly where it needs to go. Okay, that's got to be enough stone wise. Yep. All we need now is a little bit of iron, and we'll get the blacksmith going. And we're out of tools. So the next time a tool breaks, someone's going to be toolless, and they're going to work very, very slowly. The funny thing is, when that happens, if you don't have enough iron, it takes forever to get the iron, too. Which means it takes forever to get what you need to make tools. Hope you guys don't mind the speed. I really, I wouldn't want to go any faster than this. I really would prefer to go a little slower, just if I was playing by myself and just relaxing. It's a good game just to to relax to, to unwind. It looks really nice. It almost looks like it was all built with one purpose in mind, like a fishing pier deal. Now we probably have enough food and firewood now to finish this house too. I want to do the blacksmith first, but. In fact, we really ought to finish that house instead. I'm gonna unpause this. They should continue to work on that because it was high priority. Yep, there goes his tool. Out of everyone to lose their tool, Actually, the builder doesn't bother me that much. As soon as they, as long as this is finished. <laughs> and I want a blacksmith. I can do it now. If I can do it before that starts, he'll immediately go there when he's done. Great. Of course, the blacksmith won't have a tool to make tools with. Okay, so he needs logs and iron, of which we do have some of both. But we'll need more. Iron's going to be an issue for us. We will have to do mining. So let's come over here and grab this iron. And I'm going to grab some trees on the edge here. I'm going to try, try. I'm going to try, try. I'm going to try, try to find some big tree trees. I'm not doing too bad. Lots of gatherers. Look at all the gatherers. So all the gatherers are in one house. Interesting. Hunter, laborer. Now I think for people to actually grow, we need like single people to move into houses. Logs are low. Like these people are actually old enough from what I understand to actually go live in their own house somewhere but I think it's going to take people out of here first. Part of me would be perfectly content to have just a nice small little village that just is completely self-sustaining. Just kind of like sit back and watch it when I need to unwind. Okay. Got some more tools now? We do. Excellent. So, let's get some more houses, I think, is the way to do things. 
So we still have plenty of food. I'm happy there. And we need more people eventually. And this is the way to do it. Will they walk through the storage pile? I don't know. We have space here, right? Yeah. So I can put someone on the back end of this. That's kind of cool. Overlapping like that. Let's do that. Oh man, this place is going to be a tinderbox though. All these houses just squeezed in here. Trying to leave as much room as possible for growing trees and stuff. Yeah, we're running low on logs. We're working on it. But we don't have a forester anymore, do we? Okay, we're doing pretty good on the food. I'm going to raise up the foresters, and I'm going to cut back on the fishermen. We have one forester now. One laborer. The woodcutter will be laboring since he's not cutting wood. This guy soon will be laboring as well, hopefully, as soon as he finishes those tools, because we're at 23 now. About, we'll get less fish because I just got rid of the fishermen, but we're getting some good fish out of that. Almost 2,000 food per season from this, assuming each mushroom counts as one food. I assume they probably have to eat more than one mushroom to, when they're hungry. We got a little leather and a little venison, which is good because we're running low on coats. So I think what I'm going to have to do is also make a um, clothing shop tailor. I mean, Dwarf Fortress, a clothier. Actually, let's... Um, since we have very little wood, I want to... Ah, come on, where are things? I want to get rid of this stockpile. So I can lay out the rest of the town. Fortunately, I have no idea how long I've been going for this video. My switch tab is going to pause on you guys, which is going to look kind of ugly. I need to learn to set, ha uh, set timers. But as if you watch my Crusader Kings videos, you know that I never do. What I really need to do is have a dual monitor set up. But this poor computer is being pushed pretty much to its limits as it is. Cool, they moved that. Okay, well let's look at um, the market. This is the thing I eventually want to get built. Not now, but I'm, I'm kind of kind of designing the town around it. Let's say. Hmm. Wonder if it matters. So that's going to cover the houses, most of them, at least. thinking I might want it lower down. Maybe something like that. So we got room for roads there. There. And these, the woodcutter and the blacksmith will use stuff that's in here. So with that in mind, I kind of want 
anything that's going to use the materials from here centered around this. So when we go to make our tailor, see, we can put them there. Put them here. That might not be bad. Put them here. Probably not a bad idea, actually. I think that's where I'm going to want it. Uh, actually, we're down to one, so let's actually get this built. We don't have the wood or the stone or anything like that, but we will. Because I'm going to tell them to do it. So we have a stockpile right here, so let's grab this stone. We have four laborers now, so people have become adults. And a child was born. That's good. We are getting a little bit of children in the mix. I'm actually leaving it at these number of builders. Actually, I'm going to throw... Oh, I'm gonna throw one more Forster. Once we get that going, that'll be nice. We won't have to worry as much about the wood and stuff. Okay, and we need... Uh, what are we building? That. Still need more stones, still need more logs. He can't make any more firewood because all the logs are gone. Let's start... cutting... Actually, let's just remove resources. Prioritize, prioritize the trees at some point. Doing good on food. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Plenty of tools. I might even just pause that for now so he doesn't use up the wood. Uh, we got a decent amount of firewood. I don't want to stop firewood production in winter though, just in case. Um, what is that? You don't have anything to do? Looks like you're doing something though. Good. Maybe since I turned that off, it's just warning me that that's the blacksmith. His regular job is off. I do like how the game shows you, you know, what you need, what's going on. It, it's very, it, it's very easy to just glance at it and know what's happening. So I know that he doesn't have any more wood to make firewood, any logs to make firewood with. He's off. These are paused. This guy is working as a laborer because his job is turned off. Yeah. Such a nice game. Stop cutting up all my wood. Turning a little green. 
might go black back to white. Oh no, it's just we're under mild conditions. All right, we got some extra logs. Oh, we need stone still. Okay. Well, we're doing okay on stone. There we go. They're bringing it from over there, or up here. Cool. We're gonna get a tailor soon. Got a few more children being born, and a couple more people becoming adults. We got three laborers now. We'll have one of them become a tailor. So yeah, we are out. Out of coats. Definitely want to get those built up. Now, as soon as we get abundance of something, I will get the trading post going, probably. Because I'd like to be able to play this, this kind of pirate colony idea. Not that we can, like, attack people with the trading post or anything like that, which would be fun. It's not like Dwarf Fortress where you can, you know, sack the caravans that come, the elves, and take all their stuff. But... Uh, you know, stuff like, yeah, sure, we got some gathering, that's fine. We're, we're doing our hunting and our fishing, which is good. But, you know, what do pirates need? Well, they need grog. Pirates have to drink. So I want to, unfortunately, we can't grow any orchards to make any uh, alcohol from. Any, uh, any ingredients for alcohol. So we can either trade for alcohol, and you can only trade food for food. So food's useless unless you're trading... Um, unless you also want to trade for food. Like, you can't trade food for... I, I don't think you trade food for seeds, necessarily. But you, like, you can trade food for uh, tools. Unless uh, unless there's like one trader, from what I've seen, in one other person's game, there's one trader that accepted anything. But basically, they only trade for, for kind of stuff that they also trade you more kind of like for like trade which is kind of odd I guess if I have tons of tools then I would think that I'd want to trade my tools for food even if I was the trader maybe not so I imagine we're probably way past our time to stop this video uh, but yeah uh, I'm going to do quite a few of these videos in a row I think just because I'm going to be playing and I enjoy it and, but I do look forward to any sort of uh, interaction you'd like to have, uh, any comments, if you'd like to see something particular, or if you have any questions, or you know anything like that, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching the videos. If you do like them, uh, give them a like. If you, have, if you have a chance, if you're logged in, just click the little button, and that'll help other people find them as well, and find out how cool this game is and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Bye.